case briefs and so much more ls data's got what you're looking for in the intricate web of bankruptcy proceedings a digital turning point was taken with the 2007 case reynoso v kistler heard by the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. The crux of the dispute laid in the boundaries for non-attorney bankruptcy petition preparers. Could they offer personalized guidance to filers or select exemptions? The answer, it seems, was a resounding no, as this was determined to be practicing law without a license, an illegal act. At the center of the storm was the company Frankfurt Digital Services, owned by Henry E. Hegerica. He preyed upon those uncertain of the legal labyrinth by offering access to websites with software prepared to navigate the bankruptcy petitions. Names such as Zionet.com and 7001AW.com were thrown into the mix, adding to the murkiness of the situation. The software in question, allegedly an expert system, promised filers it understood bankruptcy laws and could select exemptions on their behalf. However, the ostensibly helpful program had another side. It enticed the debtors with the notion they wouldn't have to decide which schedule to use. Furthermore, it offered entry to the ominously titled Bankruptcy Vault, serving up information on how to shroud a bankruptcy from credit bureaus and ways to retain property. The first blow against Frankfurt was dealt by the bankruptcy court. They labeled Frankfurt as a bankruptcy petition preparer stepping beyond its role by engaging in the unauthorized practice of law. Coupled with accusations of fraudulent and deceptive conduct, it was a damning decision. The bankruptcy appellate panel bolstered this verdict, affirming the earlier decision. Due to an incomplete printout of the website, the court found itself unable to apply issue preclusion. Nevertheless, they upheld the fines against Frankfurt for violating bankruptcy laws. Their assertion left no room for ambiguity. Frankfurt had intentionally concealed its role as a preparer and had made false statements to the court. It was a decisive victory against unauthorized legal practice, making one thing clear. Bankruptcy proceedings could not be made a game of loopholes and digital shortcuts. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.